How to Retain Your Customers, a veterinary educational video proudly brought to you by Thopayo Vets. Nineteen February 2014, a male terrier cross came in due to lameness today. Okay, what happened to the, the, the dog actually? Uh, this morning he, he couldn't stand up from his hind legs. Yeah, correct. That's all? Yeah, that's Yesterday all. Yesterday was okay? Yesterday was okay. It was only this morning. On both hind legs? Huh? Yeah, both hind legs. Okay. Eating and drinking? Uh, he hasn't been eating or drinking since morning because he couldn't move. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Yesterday? Yesterday was okay. And the urine and stools, normal yesterday? Normal. It was normal. Normal. Mm. Okay. So we weigh the dog first. Yeah, sure. Come, we just weigh the dog. So just put the dog on the rain machine. Then see what's the weight. See what's the weight. Let's just show on top. Show the dog. It's about 7 point. It's about 6.8 now. 6.8. Okay, come. Come on. 6.8 kg. So I take the temperature now. And this is a standard check. Come. Does this not bite? Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yeah. So let's take the temperature. Let's talk to her. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't like. Okay, okay, okay. But we need to take temperature to see whether it's a fever. Uh, because yeah. if we don't take temperature, okay. let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Okay, let's see if it's. Oh, okay, okay. 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 So the owner is here, it's okay, okay easier. So I take oh, the temperature, okay. let's see if there's any fever. Uh, yeah, yeah, come this side close. Okay. Uh, it's not a bit nervous. Okay. Okay. Mm. Any vomiting? No. Diarrhea? No, nothing. Temperature 38.8 is normal. Okay. Very normal. Okay. So, is the dog lethargic? Like very sleepy? Uh, yeah, recently. No, yesterday and today. Oh, yesterday and today. Uh, he seems normal actually. Normal. Yeah, yeah. He seems very normal. And even when I tried to play with him, uh, he wants to play because he couldn't stand up. So. Excellent performance and reputation. Ruby here is a 14-year-old terrier cross whose owner is a loyal customer of Tobio Vets. He first came to Tobio Vets seven years ago for treatment of his bladder stones and had his second visit three years ago in 2011 for the surgical removal of his testicular tumour. Both operations were extremely successful. This was the leading factor as to why Ruby's owner chose to come to Tobio Vets repeatedly instead of trying other veterinary clinics closer to home. These positive outcomes have led to his owner becoming a long-term customer of Topayo Vets, despite living at the west side of Singapore. So I go to the history of the dog now. So the history is what happened in the past. Any major operations? Any major operations? Uh, like he, bladder stone? Like yeah, he had one bladder, bladder stone operation. At seven years of age. Yeah. Now he's already 15. 15. Uh, okay, seven years and the urine is okay? Uh, yeah, everything is okay after the operation. Now? Uh, now everything is okay as well. Okay, then after that, at the uh, age of 12 years, uh, he had this uh, testicular tumour because this dog was not muted. And uh, so he came for the operation in 2011 and as you can see the records, it's called scrotal ablation. Scrotal ablation means take out the whole scrotum. And uh, from there we check. One of the, the big swollen testes is actually the tumour, test, test, testicular tumour which has passed inside. Because when these tumours are there for a long time, some of them becomes, the cells die, the cancer cells die and then they become infected. So this whole testicular tumour plus the small one, the normal one, has been removed uh, together with the scrotum because it's stuck to the scrotum. So after that what happened? After the operation, it's okay? Yeah, after the operation, was okay. So I've not seen a dog since then? Uh? Yeah, correct. Because there were no other mm. problems? Huh? Correct. Okay, so this is the my drawing. Normally, I don't draw as well, but uh, so happened that I draw this to educate the owner. It was quite a unique case. Uh. Very rare. Not say very rare, but uh, seldom you see an infected tumour of the testes. Uh. Okay, so now I go ahead. Now present day is that unable to stand up. Is it? Can you put the dog down and let me see if you can stand up so on the floor? Okay. Okay, then finish it. I see, huh? See the dog can stand up. 
you can see by by observation that if you uh, able to uh, you call him and see. Ruby. So both legs or one leg we see. Yes, both legs. Uh, then uh, you just observe him, especially the hind leg. So let me see. Can I help you understand the by lifting his his uh, belly? You uh. Just you just lift up his belly. How uh, so will you just lift up it? On the on the, see whether he can stand now. No. Try again. Now his stomach looks swollen now. Okay. And how long did this went on this morning? Oh uh, yeah, just this morning. But the front leg can okay. Yeah, the front leg can stand. Oh yeah, come, come on. Effective communication. So, so uh, just put down. So now, when the dog can't stand, normally, normally in many cases it's due to the spinal injury or sleep disorder. So I'm going to test. I'm going to test the spine, and uh, before that, I better muscle it in, in case yeah. it bites me. So I will muscle him. I muscle him first. And uh, it can be quite painful. Is it muscle? Mm -hmm. I'm not the lower part. Okay, so I muscle him first. That's a precaution. So, after that, after that, I will check the spine first. Okay, ready? Just to check first. Secondly, effective communication is also important. There are no secrets between the vet and their customers. Dr. Singh here is extremely transparent to owners, does not keep any important information from them. In fact, he practices the show and tell method, showing and telling owners what he is currently doing and the detailed surgi surgical plan. This is so that the owners completely understand what their pets will be subjected to. Okay, I'm check the hips and the dislocation. There's pain now. Okay, but you hold, you hold the front. You come here, you come here. So there is pain now. As you can see, just I notice one leg. One leg is shorter than the other. I don't really notice or not. This right leg is shorter than the other. When I extend the hip, you can see a bit shorter. But not much shorter, but this right leg. A bit shorter. So there may be a hip dislocation. So I turn the dog on this side. So you hold here first. Huh? So I'll check the hip. There's pain. See? It's pain, okay. So I check from the relax first. Huh? I check the joints first on the paw. The hop. Extend. Then the knee. There's pain. There's pain. There's big pain. So. So now I turn to the left side. I turn to the right side. Now I check on this side. This side should not be painful. So I check from the paw first. Extend. Not, not much pain. Okay, here the, the hop. Okay. Abduct, abduct, no pain. Okay, now here. Okay, 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 okay relax. Okay, okay, Ruby. 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 No pain at all. You see this part? No pain, not like the other side. Eh? I check the hip. The hip, eh? so I extend the hip. Is there no pain at all compared to, to the right side? You see, I even do this up and down. Okay, so he, so you can see that his pain is okay. okay, okay. So the pain is on this side, okay. uh, from the hip to the knee. Now, has to, what happened? Did he jump a lot or not from the bed? Uh, yeah. Because it's sudden onset. Um, it happened in one overnight, so he must have jumped down. Okay. And did he, is, he, is he a very active dog? Yeah, he is. So he jumped. He likes to jump up to the sofa. Oh, I see. So he jumped and then he misjudged his mm. landing. Okay, and okay. His, he, he, he falls onto his, uh, mm. stretch his, mm. the knee. So he put down on the floor and see, actually his one leg is worse than the other. The right leg. You see how he sit down? You see how he sit down? He will sit down. Actually he can, uh, wait, let me see if he can stand on his left leg. Uh, you call him and see. Ruby. He, he wouldn't even know. Hmm? He, he wouldn't even know. Then when you just uh, hold him on the chest and see, but then he will stand on his left leg. No. Uh, you see, he can stand on his left leg actually. He just hold up, hold up, 
pull up, but with his left leg standing, no. Uh, yeah, you see, he can stand on. Okay, can come over here. Normally, normally the pain is so, so, so severe. So actually this dog, this dog can stand on the left leg, but he doesn't want to stand because it's so painful. The, the possibility is that he might land on both uh, hips spread out, we call it spread out. Mm -hmm. So it's very painful. Okay. So it, it's the only good news is that he doesn't have sleep teeth. Okay. Mm. You see there's no how much feeling. Normally when you pinch, you see when you pinch his toes, huh? normally other dog will scream. Mm. It, there's not much feeling. Huh? Compared to let's say I show you the front. Front you just pinch a bit. And he feels it. So this one, I will pinch it. Also not much feeling. Not much feeling. Mm. So so we can compare to the front. Uh, when 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 the whole when the, you see, you see they're very good. This one not so good reflect, but that one was good. Mm. I can still feel it. So the diagnosis is he has injured his back, probably here, probably here, and then uh, when he jump because the. Uh, the lifestyle of the dog is very important. The other seat is he must have spread his hip up when he fell down. Mm. And the worst one is the right hand side. Left one. So, so the pain is here. Uh, yeah. uh, this hip is worse. Uh, this hip is worse. Okay, I'll give him the painkillers. Okay. And uh, we will wait for a few days. Lastly, another key factor would be affordable health care. Having affordable health care appeals to the heartlanders in Singapore as the cost of living continues to skyrocket. Expensive renovations used to impress customers are not necessary. Instead, a homely decor with affordable consultation and surgical fees are much more appropriate.